back again early morning, right? There's four of those chairs there. They're pretty nice. Well, let's see what the heck's else out here, right? asking about one of them this week. Still didn't take the stuff out of here yet, so they should have done that. Christmas ornaments. Oh, there's some Christmas lights down in there too. Samsonite. or something here with a pump air mattress with a pump I guess we'll try it there's an NRA bag in there too I didn't even see. Why didn't you guys say something? Huh. This thing's pretty heavy. Well, spring's here. And so is the pig farm. <laughs> Good thing we ain't got smell of vision I don't know how people live in these houses over here. It's crazy. That thing stinks. The door shuts on this truck without having to slam it like a gorilla. No shovels, apparently. Oh, light fixtures, huh? Okay. Actually in there. Seems like they are. What is this? Some cases. Okay. Some of them look good. I should take those light fixtures too for resale. A lot of stuff over there.
Guess I'll take them. I'll pick up that pile. Check the other pile too. There's nothing good there. If there's something good, I'll come back. Like I said before, this guy's always got stuff out of here. Waiting on these tree trucks to go by. There's like a bunch of them coming. Uh, picked up a Power Wheels battery and another another chair. I think it's aluminum. There's a lamp here right in front of me and an umbrella over there. So I'm gonna grab both of them. And it looks like there's something else down the street too. Back at the farm, I still got to take it for it. Looks like we got to get our Crocs on. It's either a, looks like a vacuum, but I don't think there's enough room down here to turn around. This driveway is a hill, though. Might have been able to use that. But whatever, it ain't gonna kill me, right? runabout cord cutter been here nope cord still in it all right back to work I don't know if there's anything here but coaxial This thing is some sort of pitching thing or practice putt putt, right? Ooh, some dirty old parliaments. I don't see nothing. Oh, there's a bicycle up here. Let's go grab that. There's another pile there, too. See if there's anything in that one. Oh, I see a lamp. I love lamp. Uh, might be a brass one, or maybe an aluminum one. Or a wood one. Kids. Glider's pretty cool. I 
have room for that kind of stuff. Here's that Power Wheels battery. I'll go grab this bike too. Magna. in there. We like water weight. I was going to take those uh, life jackets too, but they're pretty faded and the one's got mouse chewed on it so it's trash alright I guess we'll pull a golf ball I guess we'll strap this down and go check out the other part of town See if we can get over there before the trash guys. Well, the trash truck's been through this part of town already, so that's a no-go. I guess we'll check the DG dumpster because they dump it tomorrow morning. So let's see what's in there. Come in all stealth like. Depends. We don't need that kind. Not, not yet. Anyway. Looks like just trash. A couple dollar cups down in there, but I don't think I don't think we can worry about it. I don't see no good stuff. All right, back to the farm. I was hoping to get some spraying done today, but it feels like it's pretty windy. It's definitely windy over here. It's the only thing with spraying. You can't, you know, you can't really do it when it's windy because it ends up getting on the bushes where you don't want it, you know, instead of on the grass. So, it has to be dry. It has to not rain for at least... A few hours give it enough time to dry up on the plants and it has to not be windy so yeah well it's definitely too windy to spray that's for sure so we're going to process this load down I got some other stuff to take apart I found that last night I don't think it was on video I think it's real brass pretty sure it is and this stove also found that last night so i'm gonna transfer some of the stuff from here process it put it in this truck i got some other stragglers down back i can go take apart since i can't do any real farm work when in doubt scrap it out right so that's what i'm gonna be doing uh i probably will get the sprayer going at least get the battery on it and figure that all out and I just got a hold of Fred. Hopefully in an hour or so we can take his trailer and go try to snag that that old rusty trailer. And at least get it back to his place. And then I can try to put some wheels on it that will hold air. So I'll figure that out. Alright, we'll be back. Well, we're off. We got a little bit of a load. I took those chandeliers apart real quick. Might as well go get rid of them. That was like 650 pounds. I'm gonna go through my leprechaun door. Oh. 
It was like 650 pounds of light iron. Trying to get Fred to tow this, tow this Nissan to the farm. Hopefully, get it out of here. I can get this thing put back together. Try to sell it or something. It's got brand new tires on it. Generals. Yeah, we're gonna try to put that trailer on the back. Hopefully there's enough room. Go see if it's still there. There's some loose stuff up here too. You think we should take it off of here? This bumper? Uh, I might want to put a couple of them in. Well, we tried. The story of the trailer. It's in someone else's hoard apparently. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, it was sitting right there. There's the extra tire for it and the piece of metal that was hanging on it. Oh well, figured it was a desirable bed being that 50s era Chevy. Just the tailgate alone was probably desirable. It was still salvageable, that's for sure. Alright, well that's what happened with the trailer. Somebody else got it. <laughs> oh well. Oh, you dumbass. What? Oh, it was scrap. Oh, it was scrap. I had to put it down here because the way we put the truck on it. You want to get the back and get it out of the neutral or what? Okay. This girl got any brakes? Uh, I don't know, but it's Yeah, I guess it is leaking. Go ahead and take her out of gear. What the hell is it leaking? <laughs> it is out of gear. It is? Yeah. Put it here. I did. I just took it out. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah. No, he's got people offered him 500, but 
He don't want to take it. Yeah. He don't want to take it. He's because the panel's worth. He said, "Oh, the panel's worth seven hundred alone." I'm like, "Yes, yeah, so." Just the rack here alone? No, not the rack. The the, the solar heater. Oh, I'm talking about this thing. Yeah. yeah. Christ, no, that thing's scrap. Okay. This thing's got a brand new toolbox on the back of it that he just bought. K and N air filter, flex fan. Mikey, you spend too much money, man. When you were born to stand out. Why well, fit in when you were born to stand out? Did he lose his license or what? Dr. Seuss. Who, Mikey? Yeah. No. No, it just blew, it just skipped timing. This is another truck that I fixed the frame on. This one was real bad. I took a piece of three by three angle and I relief cut it around the body mounts and just capped it. I cut the rust out. So this was my truck that I sold to him and then he gave it back to me and now I'm gonna sell it to my brother. So circle of life, right? <laughs> I didn't show you all this the other day, but that wagon, this wagon was in the mix. Oh, all and this then stuff. all this stuff. Yeah. All these What's porcelain that? houses, all these yeah, little. Just sitting here and ordering this stuff. Well, I don't think she did. A lot of it has Goodwill on it, so she probably went to Goodwill every day and bought, it. bought something, yeah. But some of this stuff. Where's it at? There's some stuff that's actually really good. Like this is Norman Rockwell. Well, puppy love but it's only like a dollar online you know they're really not selling that that much some of this goodwill, other stuff is rockwell too 99. yeah goodwill yep and like look at these sconces are really nice little wall sconces brass that's the kind of thing you girls buy up there what okay. oh i don't know about the brass but all this stuff look at this this whole tote is another total lighthouses wow. <laughs> right right and these things are kind of cool like vintage you know, yeah. apples and berries and all kinds of Christmas stuff. There's this, more. This is the kind of stuff that doesn't sell up there, right? Rusty socks. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, but not really. Look, little lamps, right? And all the all the little houses. This one's all porcelain houses, too. Totes and totes and totes. Just totes. There's another yes. tote down here of porcelain houses, too, that hold. There's three whole totes, maybe four. Amazing. Yeah, I'll oh, check yeah. this thing out. I thought this was cool. I don't think it's really worth anything, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, see something like that. People like. <laughs> yeah, cool. it's pretty cool. Spaghetti dish. Mm, something, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then this is tool. These two have all kinds of random tools. Check out this old heat gun. Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right. It's more like a hair dryer, isn't it? Yeah, but it. I tried it out. It gets really hot. It's 500 watts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a battery tender in there. You want it? Yeah, one in the truck. Want home, you want that one? You don't need it for sure. For well, you. whatever. You here, take yeah, it. You if you can use home. it, take it. I, I don't, don't care. have one at home. Mm -hmm. For the lawnmower. And I don't the, care. Oh, here's that. Look, Fred. Here's the the candy dish. All red glass. This is all ruby. Yeah, that stuff they buy. Ruby Avon. I really like the salt shakers that are in here. Let me see. Here they are. Oh yeah. Salt shakers Look are cool, that. man. They got the caps and everything. Cool. Avon. Stuff that's not broken. No, nah, it's not broke yet. Well, you leave yeah. it around me long enough. Yeah. Look at this sundial. All right, oh, the sundial's wow. cool. Is that and like here, big light. No, it's it's <laughs> it's cast. Cool. Yeah, steel. And there's some other random stuff. Two sewing, two Singer sewing machines. They probably won't sell. Well, they might sell. I don't up know. There. They're kind of. You ever tried one up there? They're kind of moldy smelling. Not yet. And then these are like the ones I found in the trash. The masks and stuff. Mm. Other stuff. Oh, look at this thing. It's it's from Ross, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's not. It's like new, but it's it's still cool looking. Yeah, it's a porch item. Yeah, yeah. On the porch. Yeah. So I got to go through all that stuff too. So I probably won't Crazy, be doing man. too much buying tomorrow, but Crazy. we're still gonna go. All right, we got the Nissan back. We gotta go do some other stuff. Let's see what else we get into. Right. Milkweed's starting to come up out there. Well, that's good. Want to plow it in and it'll take it out, hopefully. That stuff's a pain in the ass. I 
I was just talking to Tucker. I don't know if y'all seen his video. He took that stuff to the auction. That's actually the same auction I go to. Told him I'll try to run up some of the prices on stuff. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take some video tomorrow while I'm there. See if I can get some live action of it going off. We'll see what his stuff goes for. Pretty sure he's not going to be there, so. See what that busted Mac goes for, right? <laughs> All right. Lunchtime's over. Time to get back to work. I gotta get this sprayer put together. And it's still pretty windy out there, so. I don't think I'm gonna do any spraying, but. Definitely got some grass to cut. A bunch of old lady horde to sort out, right? <laughs> yep. Greenhouse update. Still waiting on peppers. Some of the romaine came back. That rom the romaine lettuce here in this in this tray was 2016, so pretty old. A lot of it went off though. Cucumbers are looking really good. These tomato seeds I think were were old too, and so were the spinach. Doesn't really look like maybe a couple of them came up, but that's it. I like to mess around with uh, keeping seeds from years to years. I usually keep two or three packets from years and years ago, and I and I try them every year, different amounts, you know, just to just for my own, you know, database. I guess I don't know. See how long they can actually go before they're not viable at all. Good information to know, I think. This is a 30 gallon sprayer tank it put together a few years ago, quite a few years ago. We used to run this off of a, uh, a gas engine, like a three horsepower Briggs and Stratton. And we had a pump, a Lovejoy, and all that on there. But years ago I got tired of changing pumps and changing Lovejoys and this and that. And it's another engine you got to keep running. so. I converted it to be electric. It runs off the uh, one of these electric pumps. I also have it rigged up to like a plug that I plug into the tractor up here, and uh, you know it, it gets charged up, charged up by the battery on the tractor. So this is the way I do it now, and it's worked good over the years. I usually come across the battery put on here every year. Right now I got these uh, these uh, group 31s and I got 2017s, eight of 2017. One's in the Massey. This one's gonna live on here for the summer. And basically I just do it like this and hook these up, hook up these wires I had on here from last year. And it works good. 
and we use this around around the buildings you know for uh, weed reduction you know it keeps down on the weed whacking we use it around the buildings and also down the rows if you see these the boom that's on here with the 90 degree uh, tips right now this isn't it I don't I'm not using this to like go around the base of the bush this basically just sprays the slight incline of the crown between the flat part of the middle of the row and the edge because the brush hogs and things can't really get up that that little incline and and get that grass cut you know we still have to manually do it between the bushes you know whether it be weed whacker or hand spraying there's also a hand wand that's on this thing that's I take it off every year because it freezes and breaks but it goes on this hose right here and it goes up to the cab so you can get to it from the front of the machine and this switch activates this solenoid right here is an SMC 12 valve uh, air water or oil solenoid this is the same type of solenoids we would use on our air ride setups on the low rider trucks so basically you know I turn the pump on and then when I'm driving around I can I have control from up front to turn this boom on and off electronically the uh, the wand stays hot all the time so I can just pull the trigger and the wand will work for spraying around the buildings and things so this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day I get this going and probably cut some grass so once I get it up and running and we get a day where the wind's not blowing, I'm sure you can hear it. Get a day where it's not blowing too hard and I can get out there and start spraying. I'll take some videos of that too. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's nothing crazy. You know, I just drive up and down the roads, watching YouTube with my earphones on. You know, killing some weeds. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I think I'm going to end it there for today. Tomorrow's Thursday. We got to do some stuff in the morning, probably farm related, and then the auction. We'll see what Tucker's stuff goes for. See if we can. Uh... We won't run the prices up. I was just kidding. You know, you're not allowed to do that. But I may or may not bid on some of the stuff. So it is what it is, right? <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all on the next one. Hope you had fun. Remember, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys later.